Well, good morning everyone. Here I am once again in the garden. It's about half past seven on Tuesday and it's a bank holiday week. Um, I hope there'll be a bit of shape in the garden this week, by next week, um, because I hope at the end of the week, if weather permitting, to start doing something with the pots back there. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm not the best gardener, but I do do my bit. Anyway, a very warm welcome this morning, wherever you are. I pray the Lord will bless you. And of course, we have a service this morning at half past 10 in Greenfield. You are very, very welcome to join with us if you're in town this morning. Welcome. I hope that the Lord will bless you this day. Well, dear friends, this Sunday is Pentecost Sunday, where the community of the church was born. The Holy Spirit came in power upon the believers in Jerusalem. And there they experienced that life-changing power of the Spirit of God, the comforter, the promise that Jesus made that he would send the comforter. And what a joyous day it was. They were empowered to go and preach the gospel. And we are here today because of God's gift of the Holy Spirit. He who leads us, guides us, shows us the Father's love. He who joins us together in love and fellowship for one another within the community of the church. And what a wonderful change came to the life of those believers in Jerusalem that day. They went forth to preach the gospel, but the community of the church was born. The community of believing people. And so much so that the love they had for each other and the love that overflowed from them into the community, into the world, was to change the world entirely. So much so that the early Christians in Antioch declared, well, see how these Christians love one another. Coming of the Holy Spirit, the presence of the Christ with us now in the midst of the troubled world in which we live. By today, of course, we regrettably in Wales, the church has been in decline for many generations. And yet, in places like Africa, China, and Asia, there is a rapid increase in the number of believers who are coming to trust the Lord Jesus Christ. Sadly, in Wales, it's not the case. In the last census, apparently, 57% of people in Wales said that they were Christian. But just a small percentage of those people attend church week by week, which is sad. The abundance of chapel buildings we have here in Llanelli are illustrative of a generation long gone by. Gracious me, there were chapels nearly on every street corner. Many by now are closed and some are falling into dereliction. And that is a great concern. The local Finetli staff had a feature about that just last week. But, you know, there were times when those chapels were full. Not only on a Sunday, but in the week they were a hub for the community. Mutual improvement societies, the Christian endeavour, choral singing. Every chapel vestry was filled during the week as well. And of course, all of us can remember, surely, those of us of my generation anyway, the band of hope. And of course, the indoctrination of young lives into the dangers of the demon drink. Do you remember that? I surely do. But the church is here. And in a community like Llanelli, there are those who are gathered week by week to worship God and to praise him, to serve the community of which they are part. They might be smaller in numbers, but they are there. And Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of the people. God will send revival, but it will be in his time. And perhaps the revival that will come will not be like the 1904 revival, but there will come a time when people will feel their need of God once again. I believe that. That's the gospel we preach. The opportunity of bringing the good news to a community that is broken, to a world where there is war and rumours of wars, where cruel and terrible dictatorships reign, we need the power of the Holy Spirit once again to move in our midst. The spirit of the living Christ, the spirit of Pentecost. And as we celebrate this Sunday, let's remember he is with us now. And the Apostle Paul said there is nothing in all creation that can ever separate us from his love. Dear friends, the church is here the community of God's people, proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ, the only hope for our world. The blessing of belonging to the Christian church is one of knowing that God is with us, Christ is in our midst, and that we have the glorious and wonderful privilege of being part of his body, the church. Dear friends, the door is always open. Let's come and worship the risen Christ in the midst of his people, in the power of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you wherever you are today. I pray the Lord will be with you. Whatever concerns and anxieties we may have, 
to know that his presence will sustain and keep us to meet you tomorrow. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this new day, this new day of new opportunity, this day when we can come into your presence to thank you for the beauty of your creation. But this day, we know, is the day that the Lord has made, like every other day, Lord. Great is your faithfulness to us. Thank you, then, for the fellowship we share week by week. Thank you for the communities of faith to which we belong, the church into which we have been received, and the church of which we are a part. Thank you for communities of faith here in Llanelli, Lord, and in Wales and to the furthest corners of the earth. Thank you for the promise where two or three are gathered in your name. You are with your children. So bless us this day. May we know the power of the Holy Spirit in our midst and grant that we might worship you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. To you be the glory, Lord, for great things you have done. Father, we pray today for the church in the world, especially our brothers and sisters in Christ who are cruelly persecuted because of their faith. We pray that you will sustain them and keep them and that you will grant to them the knowledge that you are with them. We thank you, Lord, for the liberty and freedom that we often take so much for granted in this land of ours. May we never forget our sisters and brethren who are suffering persecution in the world. And pray, Lord, that soon they will know the freedom and the liberty that we have. Lord, bless your church in mission, wherever she may tell forth the story of your love. Here in this community of Llanelli, Lord, we pray for the churches of our town. Churches that are seeking to do your work in the midst of an indifferent society. Strengthen the leaders, Lord. Strengthen those who are called to situations of responsibility within your church. May they be filled with the power of your spirit to make the love of Jesus known. And Father, we pray for the church in Ukraine. We pray, Lord, that you will sustain and keep your people there in the midst of the devastation and the pain that surrounds them. Thank you, Lord, for the work that goes on to bring the relief from suffering to help those who are removed from their beloved country. Lord, sustain those on the borders of Ukraine who are upholding that work, who are seeking to serve and to love and to care in Jesus' name. And Father, we pray as well that you will be with the church in Texas, Lord, in that community that lost those lovely children last week. What can we say, Lord, in the midst of such devastation and evil? Thank you for the communities of faith in that community who are seeking to bring help and comfort and assurance to those who mourn. Father, be with those who are suffering today, we pray. And now be with us, Lord, we pray. You know our every need. Thank you for this lovely new day and the sunshine that hopefully will come soon. May it be for us a time of refreshment and renewal. And grant us peace for these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, dear friends. Have a lovely week, a bank holiday week, as I say. I hope to be in the garden later on to make sure that there can be some sort of um, well, tidying up here, as it were. May God bless you. Thank you once again for, your, for the privilege of being part of your day. God bless.